Well, hello, folks. Um, yeah, uh, this morning kind of scored a little bit of a deal. Um, Craigslist free. Uh, it's done done good things for me. Uh, this morning it did actually uh, did me a solid and uh, scored me a uh, a Gunder Nielsen Tiber Guard Danish Modern uh, Desk. Um, it's in a little bit of rough shape. Um, I'm gonna need to put some work in it, but um, free can't beat the price. And yeah, I gotta say, uh, you know, me and the missus, we are um, Danish modern enthusiasts, uh, and we're just blessed to live in San Diego. Um, my theory is is that uh, San Diego, especially Central San Diego, was really exploding during the uh, the 60s. Uh, and so as a result, uh, there's probably a disproportionate amount of uh, mid-century furniture here. Um, and then there's also some retirement communities, uh, newer retirement communities like Ranch Bernardo and Oceanside. So, you know, you get a lot of these people who were probably um, in their, you know, these are um, not boomers, but... Um, People kind of in the 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 the, um, the World War II generation, the, uh, our greatest generation, uh, post-war, they were collecting all their stuff in their 30s and uh, 40s, and so their furniture probably because the stuff holds up. I mean, this Danish modern is pretty well built, uh, and so when they go to retire, you know, they relocate here to San Diego uh, for warm weather. And next thing you know, uh, as they start to pass away and downsize, uh, you know, ends up in thrift stores, estate sales. And so you get a lot of the stuff here. And so, yeah, I just was so stoked. I found this, um, this is a, uh, a Tiber Guard. Uh, there's a fairly notable Danish modern designer named uh, Gunder, Gunder Nielsen. I've seen his name pop up a couple of times and I think he's the one who's responsible for this. Uh, these things can go for, you know, if they're in good shape, they can go for um, about $1,500, $2,000. I think the more, I don't think this is an executive desk. I think the executive version of the desk can go up to like 3,500 bucks. So, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna sell it. I think I might, uh, it looks like it may fit in our room. Uh, and if the missus likes the final product, then uh, I may take the current desk that we have and put it in my music studio downstairs and then put this upstairs if it looks better but yeah so uh that's this morning's find i thought i would share it um uh what i did is i first applied now mind you i am not an expert on refinishing furniture uh everything i've learned is kind of like baptism through fire and uh, by experiment but uh, i'm using this uh citrus strip gel because uh, I don't know if it was a factory varnish, I don't know, or somebody put an aftermarket varnish on this. And it, it, to me, that's blasphemy because this is a solid teak top. And in my opinion, when it comes to uh, teak, uh, the only thing that should be on it is a fine finish with either uh, teak oil or tongue oil. Believe it or not, tongue oil uh, works great for teak and uh, some people actually prefer tongue oil because like, it kind of gives more of a I think a more of a refined finish if you polish it right so I'm actually going to be uh, stripping this down with uh, citrus gel then sanding it then put a little bit of uh, mineral spirits to clean clean it off and then uh, I'm going to be applying a couple of coats of tongue oil to give it more of a refined finish. Um, but right now I'm just waiting for this citrus strip gel to um, take off uh, what appeared to be kind of like, a, almost like wanted like I'm gonna say like a mahogany. And it looked like it could have been factory. It was weird. It didn't look like an aftermarket thing, but it might've been an aftermarket thing. But anyhow, uh, I'm fairly confident that uh, I'm gonna get, be able to make this thing look good and it's, Fate should have it. This one just kind of ended up in my lap. I was uh, dropping the kids off for school, uh, hunting on Craigslist free, 
uh, someone posted a picture of this in a, a lesser desirable piece of chest, or, chest of drawers. Uh, and then I looked at the address and it was like 10 minutes away from the house. And I'm like, it looks like it could be Danish. Maybe it's not. I get there, sure enough, it's a, it's a, a, a Tiber guard, uh, Danish, Danish made. So totally stoked on this find. Uh, I'll let you guys know what the final product looks like. In the meantime, as fate should have it, uh, another person posted another teak desk. Um, it doesn't look Danish. It might be Danish. It's actually kind of like a tiki style. I noticed that it, the picture was fuzzy, but um, it had this really cool kind of uh, like a Hawaiian tiki style um, uh, uh, inlay that was in it. And it, uh, it was kind of a grainy picture. So I think it's maybe why uh, someone didn't pick it up right away is because you probably have to zoom in on it to see how cool it is. So uh, I'm gonna drive out to Vista, which is just two exits down. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this other tiki um, uh, style teak desk. And so that means that my wife's gonna come home. <laughs> uh, what she wanted me to do is she wanted me to steam artichokes and she wanted me to take out this uh, monster of an agave uh, that I need to take out. I already took out one, gave it to my brother. I think my brother still wants this other one. Uh, that's what I should be doing, but instead I'm uh, I'm hunting Craigslist free and finding some cool stuff. And uh, uh, I figure the agave can wait till tomorrow if I don't get to it today. So anyhow, these are JC's finds. I'm gonna go ahead and post this stuff because I ain't got nothing better to do. And if I do, it doesn't sound nearly as fun. So I'll keep you guys posted.